Hello everyone, welcome back to Skybyte Studios. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Cybertron Voyager class Leo Breaker. And as you can see, he is a robotic lion. And kind of an interesting uh, fact about this figure, if you guys saw the series, you'll know that he was actually, or initially, overhaul. And when he was getting beat up by Megatron on the jungle planet, something magically transformed him into this a new form and that's how he got his name Leo Breaker but before the character overhaul that was his name it was supposed to be Trail Breaker so the name transi transition into Leo Breaker would make a lot more sense and to me that makes a lot more sense I don't know why they went through with that but it is what it is but here it is like I said he is a robotic lion and the details on him are awesome you can see kind of like the organic parts like the mane here there's not much fur on him you got a little bit of fur detailing right here I don't know if you can see but there's a lot of kind of like robotic things peeking through especially the shoulders you got big bulky sh um, shoulders right there you got kind of mechanical looking feet and limbs and the color is what you would expect from a line primarily which is yellow he's got a base of yellow we got some brown in the mane here but you also get like the green here on the kind of like on the limbs and on his forehead which is actually a gimmick that is a button if you press on it his mouth opens just like that which is this is actually a pretty stiff spring it's not the easiest thing to press on in the world but you get that play value with it if you so choose to use it and something else you guys may have noticed is he has no tail. And he does come with the tail if you buy it brand new, but I didn't. I bought him as part of a lot on eBay, and unfortunately he did not come with a tail. But to show you what he would look like with the tail, I'll put a photo right up here somewhere to show you what it would look like. And of course it would be removable, and you could use it as a weapon in robot mode, and that just pegs into his butthole right there. Yeah. But... In terms of weapons, we have a cyber planet key here. It comes with the jungle planet key. You just put it into the side of the arm just like this, and that releases the claws right here. And that does work on both sides. It does look weird when using it in his line mode because, because of the spring, it wants to go down as much as possible. So it's actually digging into the ground. But it's not inaccurate because he did use the cyber planet key gimmick in his lion mode as well in the show and i remember but that's when he was jumping in the air like that or something but yeah it does look a lot better in robot mode which i'll get to that when the time comes so we'll just put that back up it does work on both sides now in terms of articulation the legs here go a full 360 um, they go out that much and that's about it and then in like that you got the knees here if you pull this part out of the way you get more range of motion there Put that back into place the feet have full range of motion as well no side to side and there you go for the arms they bend in a weird way it's not here where you would expect them to be it's there, that's where they bend off to the side, and that's as far as they go. So you could have them do like a line split the front there. And then these go full 360, just like that. With the claws kind of retracted, they have that much of movement. Of course, when you put them down or release them, you're going to have much more range of movement, which I'll show you when we get to robot mode. The hands move right here at the wrist. There are two range two places of articulation the top right here and one closer to the fingers and that release oh now i guess i could show you the articulation it goes up that far but anyways put that back here no head or waist articulation whatsoever and that and part of that is because of the transformation this needs to be unfolded but ah uh, okay there we go in terms of measurements in lion mode, he is 
about four inches wide, which is about 10 centimeters. And without the tail, from nose to butt, he is about six-ish, which is about 14 or 15 meters, centimeters. I, I'm sorry, I'm American. I don't go by the metric system. My apologies. But anyways, that's that in terms of vehicle comparison. I don't have much in vehicle mode, right? I don't have much figures in vehicle mode right now. I do have MP10 Prime, so you can see how he scales with him. And I guess I could quickly transform this figure to show you in his beast mode because it is pretty simple. Which is a backstop right here. So I'll just transform him really quick for you guys. Just like that. Really simple transformation. And there you go. He is in his uh, rhino mode. Just like that. Just hold out the tail. And there you go. You can see how much <laughs> smaller this rhino is compared to that line, which it should be the other way around. And even if it is when it is the other way around, it shouldn't be that big of a difference. There it is. But anyways, that's that off to transformation. It is pretty simple. A lot of it's just unfolding the line parts and standing them up. So just straighten the legs. Like so. My apologies if the camera keeps going out of focus. I'll keep trying to remind myself to look at my monitor right here. But there you go. So you have the legs all straightened out like that. Put down the feet. These part or this part becomes the heel. Fold that down, same on the other side. Foot down, bring down the heel, and there you go. Next part is to unfold this part of the torso. Just kind of like dig in here. There you go. Just unfold everything there. Bring this back, bring that back. And it's best to put the arms out of the way because they're going to be bothering you anyways. There's this peg right here at the bottom of the lion head. Don't know how well you can see it right there. That's going to tab in right into there. There you go. And for the arms, as you would expect, you just twist them. Bring the fingers down and bring the thumb out. Same to the other side, twist. Bring the fingers down, bring the thumb out. There you go. And finally, the last step is to take out the robot head, which is you dig in here. There's a gap here in the main. Pull that up, and you just bring out the head until it clicks into place. And there you go. There is Transformer Cybertron Leo Breaker in his robot mode, and he looks pretty darn cool. Like a lot of the figures I currently have in my collection. Oh, sorry, move the camera. Um, I like them a lot as a child, and now that I'm older and I have the ability to do so, I've been collecting a lot of my childhood favorite Transformers that I was not able to buy as a child. Because, of course, a parent's favorite phrase is no, but that's okay. I understand now. I am an adult ish. But there he is. He just looks really, really, really cool most of the articulation is the same got the full 360 here on the arm they go out the same amount and like i said now there's more range of motion right here you got a full range of motion actually on the elbows there's a it's a elbow pivot it's not bicep uh, focus please focus on me focus on the star there we go and there's wrist articulation again there's thumb right here that you could pose Legs, same thing, they go out that far. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You got a full range of motion there on the knee, which is actually pretty weird because how low the knee sits looks kind of funny. It works though. And you do get fit, feet artic uh, <laughs> sorry, feet articulation. I can't do the speaks right here due to transformation and the heel as well. The head has limited movement. Because of the main parts here onto the side of his head, he can move sideways that far and sideways that far. And that's about it. But there you go. I'm going to show you what his gimmick looks like in this mode, which is what it's meant for. 
it's going to be under his forearm right here. That releases it. He has the Wolverine claws. Same thing for this side. Oh, fingers are slipping. And it doesn't have to be the Jungle Planet key, as many of you guys should know. Any Cyber Planet key works just fine. There you go. Uh, it's very stiff, like I said. There you go. That's what Leo Breaker looks like with his claws out. Now, he stands extremely, extremely well because there's not really any kibble on him. The only kibble I could think of is probably the skirt pieces here, which was the lion's um, abdomen. That is because, like I said, a lot of the lion parts equate the robot parts, as in the lion's hand or the robot's hands, and the legs are the legs, same thing like that. The head is pretty much the head, it's just slightly above it. But uh, if you guys had the tail, that would be able to plug into his hand right here. You could kind of see the hole right there. And you could use it as a whip. Or I guess if you really wanted to, you could keep it in his butt. But I want to know. Hopefully I get a tail somewhere down the line. But I don't display this figure in robot mode or lion mode. Anyways, I display him in savage claw mode, which I'll showcase in another video. Combined with... Cybertron Optimus Prime. And speaking of which, we're going to start doing some height comparisons now in robot mode. Uh, here he is with Cybertron Optimus Prime. Not super mode, just regular Prime. They look really good together. He is a Voyager size figure, as you can see. They look really good together. Next, we're going to bring Cybertron Deluxe Hotshot right there. See how much bigger he is. And finally, we'll bring out the person who caused him to be Leo Breaker, which is Leader Megatron. And mine has a tendency to fall over. You can see how much bigger he is compared to him. There you go. Well, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about robot mode. It's really cool. If I didn't display him in Savage Claw mode, I would display him like this, which I used to, actually. Used to display him like this since, uh, when he was in a Savage Claw mode. But, yeah, pretty much all that's left... Oh, forgot! I'm gonna do measurements. So, in robot mode, he stands at about... Uh, about 8 inches tall, which is about 20 centimeters. And with at the widest part, which is probably his hands, it's gonna be about 6.5 inches which is about 16 centimeters, or 17 centimeters. As for the weight of this figure, you just put Leo Breaker down there. He's about 9.8 ounces, which is about 278 grams. And that's that. The last thing to do is to transform him back into his beast mode. So just put the claws back up here, bring his head down, make that all click into place torso here. You're going to disconnect just like that and you're going to put these parts in. Make sure you put this top part first just because that's how the panel lines work here. If you put the sides in first you won't be able to put the top down so make sure you put the top first and then these will just peg right in there. There you go. That secures everything. For the hands just put them forward, bring the palms up and flat bring the thumb down or up and out of the way hands flat thumb flat and there we have the arms last thing is the legs just bring them down bend them like a lion would flatten out the foot and just bring the heels back up same to the other side just like that bend foot out bring the heels up and there you have Leo, ba Leo Breaker back in his lion mode. And I love this figure. His lion mode is awesome. His robot mode is better. And his transformation is easy, but it's not irritating. So it's good. Um, in another video, like I said, I'll show you guys what he looks like in Savage Claw mode and how to get him into that mode. And I consider this figure a metal figure. He, you're not in any rush to get it. He's not quite a trophy figure. He's really cool, but unless you are a completionist or you really want him to be in Savage Claw mode with Optimus Prime, 
uh, you're not missing out on too much. He's a real good figure. He's a really good figure, but not necessarily a necessity in a Transformers collection, at least I think. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for visiting Sky by Studios for this review of Transformers Cybertron Voyager Class Leo Breaker. If you have any questions about this figure, by all means, leave a comment down below. Leave your question up. If I don't answer it, um, hopefully someone else would be able to see your comment and answer it for you to help you guys out. And please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Transformer reviews and toy reviews in the future. But until then, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.